In this video, I'm going to walk you through an easy step-by-step -step design process for creating your own logo for free without using any complicated design apps like Photoshop or Illustrator. Hey friends, it's Gillian and welcome back to my channel where I teach entrepreneurs how to market their online businesses and successfully scale to six figures and beyond. In the comments of some of my recent videos, many of you have asked for a logo design tutorial. So that's what I'm bringing you today, a short and sweet tutorial for how to do it yourself using Canva. You ready? Let's do this. All right, so the first step is to just go to canva.com and if you don't already have an account, you can create one for free. Then you're going to want to open up a document to design your logo with. You might see it right down here or you can type in logo and find the template there, but you just want a blank canvas to design your logo on. For step number three, type your brand name into the canvas. So for this example, I am going to pretend that I'm a photographer and have this be Gillian Perkins photography, um, but I'm going to type that as two separate pieces so that um, I can work with it a little bit more easily. Step four is to choose a font that fits the feeling you want your brand to convey. What do you want your brand to feel like? Do you want it to be more corporate and professional or more fun and casual, more elegant or more simple. You'll probably want to just look at some different fonts. You can also look at inspo on Pinterest or just on the different templates that Canva has built in. For this example, I'm going to use the font Gordita and I'm going to apply that to both parts of the logo here. Next, figure out how you want to arrange your design elements, whether you're using an icon or simply the name of your business or the initials of yourself or your business, figure out how you want to put these together into your logo. So I'm thinking to put these things into a circle. So we're going to click on effects and I'm going to put them in a curve. So the bottom part I'll want to curve this way and then the top part, which will be my name, I'm going to curve the opposite way. And it's really convenient that Canva provides these circles because you can make them match and actually form a circle. Um, but I think it will look better if I um, make this be all cap. So I'm going to click on these three dots here and just choose this that will make it all uppercase and same thing here. And then what I'm going to do, continuing to play with the layout here, is I'm going to choose a smaller font size, maybe down to about 24 for both of them, but then increase the kerning, which is the space between the letters. So to do this, you just click on the font and then you choose this spacing button and then you can adjust the letter spacing like this. So let's go for, I'm well, going to be fairly spread out. I'm going to need to change the shape of my circle though, because this isn't quite working how I want it to. Okay. So let's make this so that it will actually form a circle. Step number six is to refine the sizes, layout, and spacing to bring it all together and make it look nice and polished. Once you have the spacing and the typography the way you want it, and then to bring it all together, I'm going to go ahead and add an icon into the center of this. And my idea for this icon is to just just use my initials GP. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more text and I'll just use the heading here. So I'll type a G and a P and then I'm going to use a font called Yosefin and we're going to make this a lot larger. And there you have it, a custom design logo you did yourself in just a few minutes and for free. And the final step is to download your design. Before you do that, here's a couple little tips. First of all, we're gonna grab this whole thing and we're going to make it larger so that it fills this space a little better and we're going to center it. But the other thing you're going to do is export it with a transparent background so that you don't always have this white square behind it. So you just click on share and then click on download and then you can check the transparent background. So I would recommend downloading it as a PNG, but you'll also want to download it as an SVG file type because that is a vector image that you'll be able to scale or change the size of without distorting the design. Again, choose that transparent background option, but if you don't have a paid account, you can still easily remove the background just by going to remove.bg and this website allows you to remove the background of your logo. 
If you're interested in getting started working for yourself and even starting your own online business, then check out my free video course, Small Business 101. In this free course, I teach all the basics of how to legally start your own business, how to set up your website, develop your branding, and even start attracting your first customers. You can sign up for the free course right now at gillianperkins.com 101. I know you'll find this course incredibly insightful. It will help to motivate you and give you the practical next steps to get your business started and to start actually making money online. Designing your logo is an important part of giving your business a professional appearance and attracting customers, but it's only a very small part of successfully marketing your business. If you want to learn how to effectively market your business and easily attract customers, then I have three free resources for you. The first one is this channel. Every single week I make new videos about how to grow your online business. So if you're not subscribed yet, then that would be a great first step to take. The second resource is our free weekly email for entrepreneurs. You can subscribe for free and you will get educational emails in your inbox every single week. And finally, consider checking out my podcast, Work Less, Earn More. In every single episode, I explore strategies for growing your business so that you can earn more while at the same time minimizing your working hours so you can work less. You can find the podcast by searching Work Less, Earn More in your podcast app of choice on your phone. That's all for this video. Thanks so much for joining me and I hope to see you again next week for the next one.